and grow YouTube show. Why do you think aeroids are still so popular? I think a, a lot of the reason is because um, most aeroids do really well in uh, indoor situation. So that, that really helps their popularity because you can grow them. And um, there's just a, a great community behind aeroids and everybody's so generous. And it's just always, it's a plant you, most aeroids are easy to share with your friends and everything. So it's just been, um, you've, and you've got so many different leaf forms. You have, you have uh, big round leaves that give you that tropical look. And then you might have little skinny leaves and you have aeroids that, you know, are three inches tall and you have another three feet tall. So it also helps you have different textures in the home because you've got all these different uh, shaped leaves and sizes of plants. Totally. And I think when we think about in the indoor jungles that we all are trying to cultivate, I do think aeroids are the plants that really come to mind when we talk about the philodendrons and the monsteras, those real jungle vibe tropical plants tend to be these, these aeroids that, that right. you, you definitely have fallen in love with. I also feel like they end up being, I mean, obviously with some exceptions, but they're surprisingly hardy. Right. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's difficult uh -huh. to kill one all the way, you know, like mm -hmm. they'll, they'll kind of collapse, um, you know, a lot of allocations yeah. if they're in kind of a heavy soil and they get too much water and you think, oh no, it rotted off. And then all of a sudden pop back up again, just when you've given up. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that they, a lot of them, some of them are very delicate, but a lot of them are just you know, just when you think you lost them, they come back again. So they have that appeal as well. Do, 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 do